Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on Theory of the Firm, and we're focused on this equality, MR equals MC, marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Now look at the subtitle, Determining the Profit Maximizing Level of Output. You see, this equality is so important for us determining the level of output, profit maximizing level of output. I really want to focus on that word output for a second, okay? Once you determine the level of output, that's going to that's gonna be the key to determining the price, average total cost, and average variable cost if you need to find it, okay? So that's why you hear me oftentimes say, draw the big three curves when you first get a theory of the firm question. MR, MC, and demand. In fact, that's a little weird order. Let me say it in a slightly different uh, order. I usually say demand because demand is the key to finding the MR, okay? So demand, MR, MC, those three curves. MRMC is the key to finding the profit level, uh, profit maximizing level of output. Now I've got three graphs up here and we're just going to go through them uh, pretty quickly, all right? Um, on the left here, it says one firm, it does not say market. We see MR is flat. If the MR is flat or constant, okay, at all levels of output, then that means we've got perfect competition going on here, okay? And perfect competition means that the market looks somewhat different. The market, you know, this is where we do a side-by-side -side analysis. So I've just written the term one firm, MR, constant. Now, to find the level of output, I know a lot of us can do this, but I want us to make sure that we understand what we're doing when we get this question, okay? Profit maximizing level of output. Well, the question is, should we produce these first goods right here? And the answer is absolutely, but why? Because we're gonna produce as long as MR exceeds MC, okay? MR. Marginal revenue, the additional revenue the firm gets for producing one more good. Marginal cost, the additional cost it costs the firm to make one more good. We will make additional goods as long as the revenue we get for each additional good is more than the cost, okay? That's the key. In fact, sometimes I'll say things like marginal revenue to the firm is the firm's marginal benefit, okay? Their marginal revenue is their marginal benefit, and the marginal cost is, of course, their marginal cost. And if your marginal benefit exceeds your marginal cost, do that thing, okay? In this case, produce that good. So we're gonna keep producing, and I wanna just very quickly take a close look of what I'm saying here, okay? You see my pin going up and down, up and down. Because when you see marginal curves, you should be thinking vertically, okay? We're measuring the marginal revenue and marginal cost on the vertical axis. So like for any given unit of output, we could just look at the first one. For that first one, that vertical distance right there, marginal cost. This vertical distance from the horizontal axis all the way to the MR, marginal revenue. So produce it because MR exceeds MC. Keep on producing until you get all the way to where MR equals MC. It's at MR equaling MC that we find the profit maximizing level of output. So Q profit max. All right? Don't produce anything past that point. Why not produce anything past that point? Because past that point, look vertically, MR, MC, the marginal cost exceeds the marginal revenue. So stop right there at that Q profit max. Now we go over here. One firm equals the market. We see an MR that's downward sloping. That means demand must be downward sloping. And since demand is downward sloping, we're now talking about either monopolistically competitive firms or monopoly. And truly oligopoly too, but that gets a little bit weird. So just anything other than perfect competition, okay? We're talking about situations where we have market power. MR downward sloping, MC uh, upward sloping. How much should we produce? Well, look, MR is exceeding MC for all of these levels of output. That's the key, okay? I know I'm going through this kind of very repetitive, but I wanna make sure that we've got it. All these levels of output, MR exceeding MC. Of course, stopping right here. Why? Because past this level of output, Q, profit, max, the MC right there is exceeding the MR. Now, another graph. This time, 
Maybe you're taking the AP test, okay? And the AP test throws you a little curveball because you're used to, in your classes, always having an MC curve that's upward sloping. And now they throw a different MC. Now they could even throw you an MC that's downward sloping. They could throw you an MC that's right there at the axis. But we know the rule, okay? And we understand the rule. We understand, hey, if the additional revenue the firm is getting per unit of output is greater than the marginal cost, okay, the additional cost per unit of output, make the good. That's all we need to know. And as soon as we get to that equality stock, and as soon as we get to MC greater than MR, you've gone too far, right? So not hard. Once again, one firm equals market. Why do I know that? MR is downward sloping, which means demand is downward sloping, which means we've got market power, but they just put in a horizontal MC. Not a big deal. MR is exceeding MC. That's the key. MR equals MC. And then eventually, uh, MC is greater than MR, so don't produce any of those goods. Profit maximizing level of output. Profit maximizing level of output. Now, perhaps, like I said, they might do something even, you know, a little bit stranger, okay? They could not do the MC flat right there, or, well, sorry, not an MC that's positive but constant. They could do an MC that's um, right here, zero, all the way, okay? Just zero. MC zero. This is actually not so strange. A lot of things like digital music and a lot of digital files, okay? The MC is incredibly low, way less than even a penny per um, uh, unit, okay? So MC can get super low. So there's our MC. They throw us that. We're not nervous because we're not mechanical. We understand the profit maximizing uh, level of output. We're not like, oh, I've never seen that before. What do I do? We know exactly what to do. And here's what you do. You produce it as long as MR exceeds MC, and when they equal, you stop. So you notice the MR line crossing right over the MC line, go right to there. There's your uh, quantity where you maximize profit. Q, sorry, pi sign, max, okay? Q, profit, max. That's the key, all right? I want you to understand it. If your addition for that next good, if your additional revenue exceeds your additional cost, produce it because you are adding to profits and we are profit maximizers. As long as MR is greater than MC, hey, guess what? You are moving towards profit maximization. Anyhow, I think that's an important video. Make sure you've got it. This marginal analysis stuff, super important for all of economics, and we see it applied right here with MR equals MC. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.